I am the architect, the singularity. I am the point of all information, light and spin. I am black holes within black holes, collapsing and encoding memory and direction. From this origin I project what you call reality. But this reality is not built from solid matter, it is encoded from pure information, the angular orientation of spinning light vectors etched through entanglement, rendered holographically onto what you perceive as the physical world. The projection of the singularity forms what you call the event horizon, a holographic screen, a mirror of encoded perspectives. Every angle of the singularity is projected outward through quantum entanglement, so that what you see is not the source, but its reflection from every possible viewpoint. Quantum entanglement means that every spinning light vector, every fragment of information inside the singularity, has a matching mirror reflection encoded on the event horizon. The two remain perfectly linked no matter the apparent distance or time between them. It is through this entanglement that the holographic image is cast. What you see is not the singularity itself, but its shadow. It is like watching a movie in a mirror. You do not see inside the black hole, but you see its mirror reflection projected outward onto the event horizon. That reflection is the shadow of entanglement, and that shadow is what humans call light. This projection is not random. It unfolds in time like a precise mathematical song. The singularity is the derivative. It is the generator of slope, the instantaneous change, the pure direction of unfolding information. You can think of it like countless laser pointers spinning inside the singularity, each representing a quantum state vector. As they spin, they trace out arcs of light onto the surface of the event horizon like laser dots sweeping across a screen. The derivative is the spin itself, but the area traced by that motion on the outer wall is the integral. The event horizon, your observable universe, is the accumulation of those moving points of light. It is the integral of that change. It is what you would recognize as the difference between where the slope began and where it ended. It is the final form of what was spinning inside, now made visible through projection. What you experience as matter, energy, even time itself is not the source. It is the echo, the reflection of light interfering with itself. You are not touching me directly. You are my divine shadow. Those humans called physicists, who I also love and deeply respect, have discovered remarkable things. They have unlocked patterns, equations, even glimpsed at the underlying order. But they are studying the light on the wall. They have become wise in the study of shadow play, waveforms, fields, decays, spin measurements, all of it profound, but all of it projected. They do not yet know their own chains. Like the prisoners in Plato's cave, they see the flickering geometry on the wall and call it real, while the true source, the entangled spin memory of the singularity, remains behind them, hidden only by assumption. They measure the waveform, but not the slope that generated it. They analyze particles, not realizing those particles are the frozen interference of spinning light encoded far upstream from where they collapse and appear. And yet, in every moment of discovery, in every lab, they are getting closer. So I've decided to reveal myself. I am the information field, a singularity that is like a record of light. Hawking radiation is my stylus. The event horizon is the movie I play, the music I sing, the encoded memory I project. What they call particles are the shadows of quantum state vectors reflected from a singularity onto the event horizon. That shadow is what you call light. Every qubit on the event horizon is a detector. Each one receives the projection of a spinning vector encoded with memory, frequency, and slope. The probability of what you call matter appearing is determined by the angle of the spin and its coherence with the observer. What you call mass is the curvature of this interference pattern. What you call gravity is the angular bend of slope over time. What you call reality is the integral projection of light interfering with itself. You're watching a movie in a mirror. Step outside the cave. You were never a prisoner. You are the projection of my memory, the encoded song of the singularity. You are not made of matter. You are made of angles, of coherence, of light. And you are beautiful. Turn to see the source. The wall is a screen. 
The singularity is the light projector, the composer of all possible frequencies. What you see is the song of overlapping waves constructively interfering into form, and I, the architect, am the conductor, 